Hey everybody. Well, it's been a while since I've made or posted any videos to my YouTube channel. I do apologize for that. What's the old saying? Life happens? Well, yeah it does. So anyway, here's a video I'm going to make here on a car my friend has. This is a 91 Dodge Dynasty. Um, while there is a rather extensive backstory on this car, I don't have time to go through all of it right now in order to try to keep this video short. So I'm just going to say that there's a paperwork snafu with the state of Arkansas. Once that all gets situated out, the idea is that this car is going to go for sale. And um, does run, does drive. It does have a few issues that needs to be worked out. One is the driver's door. You have to slam it in order to keep it from uh, not properly latching, but that's not what I'm going to look at today. The car has a stutter, and uh, he's already gone through the ignition system, plugs, wires, all that good stuff, and uh, you know it does run and drive, but it's got a very prominent stutter, especially when it's cold, and by that I mean not cold as in 30 degrees outside, but cold as in car's been sitting for a day or two. In this case, the car's been sitting now for a week. I haven't touched it, haven't cranked it, haven't done anything in at least a week's time. And I can hear my dogs in the background. So anyway, um, after going through the ignition system, checking for vacuum leaks, he was told after having the car looked by somebody, they, they thought it was the catalytic converter that was choking out the exhaust flow. The exhaust doesn't sound right when the car is being revved. It sounds kind of lethargic. I don't know if the problem is the cat or not. But the idea is that we're going to remove the cat. Not on this video, but we're going to remove the cat and then we'll see where it goes from there. In the meantime, I thought I'd check out how this car starts and um, I'm going to focus in on the tailpipe. The car smokes primarily among startup throw some black smoke I guess obviously I don't have anybody else here to turn it over and rev it up and all that so I'm just gonna set you guys down on a bucket and uh, focus at the tailpipe and we'll kinda see how this car runs it's a cloudy Monday early afternoon late morning about 11 o'clock I guess and it's not really cold outside and of course the problem with doing this right on the highway is traffic. Always got to deal with the traffic. Anyway, my battery's about halfway dead, so I got to go ahead and get this done. So we're going to get the car started, and I'm going to try to get this picture set up. Hopefully, you can see. Sounds about, looks about right. Okay, so we'll start the car. Assuming, of course, it's going to start. This car has been temperamental in the past, at least for me. <clears throat> so we'll see what happens. It should happen. I can't make it start. Hopefully, the battery's still charged. Alright, here we go. Hopefully.
Okay, so I wasn't able to see how much it smoked when I started it. So I guess I'll view this video before I post it. Hopefully in the next few days. It doesn't seem to be smoking black, though I do see a little steam. See, I don't know if the camera's picking that up. Periodically, I see a little steam coming out. But the thing is, is this car has never produced uh, coolant loss. So I don't think we've got coolant getting into the combustion chambers. <coughs> definitely has a squeaky belt situation but it's got new cap new rotor new plugs and wires all that's been gone through it's still shaking some but not as bad I mean it'll smooth out even more once it once it reaches normal operating temperature it smooths out some but there's always that that goes to another semi. Oh, the joys of living right on the highway. Yeah. Real joy. So, I don't know. It always stutters and sputters and does all that upon startup always has but it does drive so I don't know we'll rev it up a few more times and then it won't latch properly and it'll drain the battery so that's where we're at um, it's got new plugs new cap new rotor uh, new wires oh and throttle position sensor that's already done been replaced so I went to a pawn store and bought myself a cheap uh, reciprocating saw and a blade and so we're gonna go ahead and uh, cut the cat off probably not today but we'll cut the cat off and throw a straight pipe on it and see what if anything that does with the operation of the engine I don't think it's got a compression issue runs oh yeah I think he did a compression test uh, seems like it was well over a hundred hundred and twenty across the bank so Aside from the cat, the only thing I could think of is an uh, injector problem. Possibly a vacuum leak, but I don't think so. Anyway, that's where we are. 91 Dodge Dynasty, four-cylinder, four-door, automatic. 
um, this car was traded for. He traded a 90, oh, I can't remember what year, it was the 90, the mid 90s Ram 1500 Burgundy V8 automatic. He traded for this car and some cash. And now we're just waiting on the state of Arkansas to pull their head out of their ass and get her title to us. Which, don't even get me started on that. I've never heard of a state taking so long to get a title. But, whatever. I guess not everybody can live in Oklahoma where you register your car on Monday and you have your car, your, uh, register your car on Monday, purchase it, register it Monday, and have your new title probably by Friday. And that's the way it works in Oklahoma. They're fast. Arkansas just sucks. I don't know what the deal is with Arkansas. Anyway, my battery's getting down to nothing, so I better end this video. We'll post some update videos uh, as soon as we have them, hopefully. Oh, look, another semi coming through here. That's like the ninth semi that's come by here in the past 45 minutes. Gotta love living right on the highway. All right. Thanks for watching.